us. We are hearing this story that Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga reportedly has communicated his intent to resign. Uh, I just recap some of those lines. This is huge news. Tell us uh, not only the reaction we're seeing, but what this could mean when we might hear from Suga. Yeah, absolutely. One word, shock. Just a couple of hours ago, we had headlines saying that Suga was going to reshuffle the cabinet on the 6th of September, who he would pick for his new cabinet and how he definitely would run in this uh, LDP re, uh, leadership re-election. That would be coming up in late September with a general election to follow in early October uh, or late October. And all of that's now been swept away. It is just a year since we had the first prime ministerial resignation during the pandemic. Suga's long-running predecessor, Shinzo Abe, bowing out due to ill health, health. And now Suga's been in the seat for less than a year and he's heading out. A huge surprise, despite the fact that Suga's polling had been pretty terrible. Uh, his cabinet approval ratings had been tanking with uh, respondents citing the response to COVID as a reason why they did not back him anymore. But this had not phased Suga. He had said he would run and he would have the support of the party. We don't know exactly what he communicated in those rooms to those senior leadership. Uh, we have not heard from the man yet. We expect to hear from him soon. But in the lead up to a general election, a huge shuffle here. More instability. Why would that make the Nikkei futures go up? Well, very unlikely that the LDP was ever going to lose this election and, and have a change of government. But because of how unpopular Suga has been, we were looking at the party losing seats. That makes it harder for them to make decisions to pass laws and get through what they want to get through, especially in terms of fiscal stimulus. If this new person, whoever they may be, can shake off the, the bad uh, vibes of Suga during this pandemic, they may be able to uphold a better election victory for the LDP in this upcoming general election. And that may be uh, reflected in the optimism you see there in the Nikkei futures. Uh, uh, Sophie, terrible approval ratings, we know that. But he wants to go and concentrate on COVID. That's what he's saying, apparently. That's what he's going to say. And uh, that's really been, I suppose, his Achilles heel. Uh, and just talking a little bit about that and success. Any names coming up? You said whoever it may be, but are there any front runners? So the man who has already said that he will run against Suga is Fumio Kishida, former foreign minister. He ran against Suga in the election, uh, the leadership election last year and lost. Uh, Kishida also was a long time presence in the cabinet of Suga's uh, predecessor Shinzo Abe and has been a presence there and held senior leadership roles within the party as well. If he has no challenges, uh, they may not need to have a full blown leadership election at all. But we had been hearing buzz that uh, the uh, Sae Takaichi uh, internal affairs minister may also decide to run as well. And there could be some candidates from elsewhere in the party. The thing you need to know about the LDP, the Liberal Democratic Party, which has held po uh, power here in Japan for almost the whole post-war period, they are deep with factions. It's all about getting the support of the different factions. And Suga had managed to do that in the last election. Kishida has a big faction supporting him. We'll have to see what other factional support any challenges might be able to get.